Welcome back to Switch to Linux, and we like bringing you the updates to Linux Mint as they are in route. And so today we want to jump on over really briefly and look at the Linux Mint blog with the March update. And so we want to see the purpose of this is just to keep everybody up to date about the important things that are going on in Linux Mint. And the first one impacts not just Linux Mint, but everybody out there, Windows, Mac, Linux, and it's all due to the brand new, everybody's favorite Firefox. You guys are like, I'm just not going to update my Firefox. You don't have a choice. <laughs> In March 14th, 2025, uh, the root certificate by Firefox will expire, meaning all versions below 128, including 128. 128 and below are going to effectively stop working all security. No more configurations, no more add-ons, no more signed content, and no more DRM playback. I know some of us are like, no more DRM playback. Yes, I know. But anyway... That is what is going on there. So they are just updating it. You probably have seen this if you're using Firefox, if you're on an older version. We are going to have some serious uh, regressions to Firefox. So they are making that known first and foremost. Make sure you are up to date. Now they have actually backported. They did an emergency update going back even if you're still on the 19 branch of Linux Mint, which you probably shouldn't be on at this point in time. But even if you are on it, you will get the latest Firefox if there's a reason you have not moved off of those branch. They've also backported this to LMDE 5 and LMDE 4. Of course, once again, if you're older than the 20 branch, is you should probably upgrade. Uh, I th not. I think they still have a little bit of support left for 19. I don't remember uh, what their whole goal is. But the overarching principle here is Firefox is going to have some major changes, forcing everybody to have the brand new shiny version with that amazing new TOS. <laughs> Oh, what a dumpster fire that was, Mozilla. Uh, this is like the, this is like the, uh, the quintessential Republican web browser, right? They know how to steal <laughs> defeat from the jaws of victory. Like Google Chrome is getting rid of the ability to use ad blockers. And here's Mozilla. Watch my beer, yo. <laughs> uh, and for all you people out there that for some reason got out of that Firefox video I did that you should use Google Chrome. You guys need a checkup from the neck up. You clearly do not know anything about this channel. YouTube would be the only Google service we use around here, and even that is used cautiously uh, because that's where the eyeballs are. Uh, but anyway, make sure you upgrade your Firefoxes to make sure you're inside of this new TOS. It's awesome, right? Uh, if you are still stuck on like one, 129, though, you're, you're good. You're good. All right. The next thing that Linux Mint is doing, back to the Linux Mint news, they did some website maintenance. Their whole website was basically the behind the scenes was completely changed and nobody should notice it at all. In fact, if they left out the entire section here on the website maintenance nobody would know it looks the same it behaves the same the only reason they did this is to allow multiple contributors to work on it without interacting directly with the host so effectively putting in um, some form of redundant uh, system uh, so that is what's going on. That's not particularly exciting. What is particularly exciting for us is we will be getting a new Cinnamon app menu in the upcoming versions. Presumably this will be the next Cinnamon, which would be 6.6, .6, but they have not fully released all the details and we know very little about what's going on here except for the image that they have given us uh joseph is the uh project leader taking this and this would be what the new cinnamon menu looks like so it carries with it some of the uh some of the look of uh almost in a way the the budgie menu um but uh, this is a much more modern menu. It brings in, of course, if you can't remember what the differences are here, effectively everything in your main block with your all applications, accessories, graphics, internet, and, and uh, so the, the center column there is your main categories and the right column there is all of the applications in that category. That is that is unchanged. We still have a search bar that is unchanged. They did remove the uh, the power logout and uh, reboot options, the uh, lock options rather. They they remove those from the sidebar and put those down under the applications. And you'll see that they expanded the sidebar, including your name and your uh, account icon there. And uh, inside of the, uh, underneath that, rather, they put your 
uh, basic home folders, so that's awesome. And then you have, for your favorite applications, it no longer just has the icon, it lists what it is as well. Some people may or may not like that expanded titles, uh, but ultimately, I like that. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, if we have the option to hide the titles, that would be cool. Uh, that's one of the things uh, is XFCE, I think, allows you to do is hide the titles. It'd be neat if they had the ability to do that. But that is what is up to date with the new menu coming. More details will be forthcoming in future newsletter releases. As far as the statistics, you can see that the 44.8% are using Cinnamon. We only have a small percent using Edge. Of course, some of that is dropped down by the fact that the current version 22.1 does not have an Edge. We'll talk about that in a moment. LMDE 6 is at 9%. There's Mate and XFCE, but they say that this is only for the downloads, not usage. So Cinnamon is 60% of the downloads, followed by XFCE and Mate, roughly 20% of each. This is the chart breakdown per release. So some basics on statistics. Now the next update that they mention in here, just as a, a little point at the bottom you notice there is no edge release for the latest now often they've done the main release and then release the edge release afterwards but they had announced earlier there will not be an edge release of the new linux mint uh, because starting in linux mint 22.2 they're going to be releasing the hardware uh, kernel uh as the main system. So there is no difference between them. Effectively, every Linux Mint now will be Edge. Now, what the Edge allowed you to do is to use Linux Mint on a system that is a lot newer hardware. That has been routinely one of the drawbacks of Linux Mint in the past is the absolute latest and greatest hardware may not be supported by the kernel because Linux Mint has held a traditionally conservative view with the kernel using an LTS or an older version. But the problem is, is that to use the latest hardware in Linux, you do have to have the latest kernel. But what they have noted is how good the Linux kernel has become in recent years, that there's no longer a need to do that. There's no longer this instability that comes with a brand new kernel that we'd experienced years back. And so going forward, they're just releasing the latest hardware enabled kernel in order to have effectively every Linux Mint starting at 22.2 is going to be Edge. So there is our basic updates, what's going on in the world of a Linux Mint. Let's know your thoughts about those in the comments below.